Yo, what is going on today, YouTube? Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Today's video, we're talking about Prophetic Cloak. It's now been out for a year. 365 days, it came out season 10, patch 1, with the Fire Giant Surter update. And it came out in a very insane spot. So base cloak is essentially the same. 25 protections of each, 150 health, 20% cooldown reduction. And then once every 10 seconds when you damage an enemy god with an attack, you gain the stack of two protections and an ore that corresponds with the damage type of target. Once you've reached 15 stacks of both protection, the item evolves. And this is the evolved item. 55 protections of each, 150 health, 20% cooldown. And you get 30 magical and physical protections to allies, including yourself. If you have over 400 protections, you gain 10% mitts. If you have over 600 protections, you gain an extra 10% mitigations. Now let's think about that. This item gives you 85, once finished, 85 protections of each, 150 health, 20% cooldown reduction. And then it also gave you 20% mitigation because a lot of the times it was very easy to get up to 600 protections as long as you're building the item with like a, a support build or a solo build in mind. You're basically guaranteed 20% mitts on top of all those other stats. In its current spot, Vredic is now 25 protections of each, 100 health, so it's lost 50 health, 10% cooldown, lost 10% cooldown there. And then once every eight seconds, when you damage an enemy god with an attack, you gain a stack of one protection in an aura that corresponds with the damage type of target. Once you have reached 15 stacks of both protections, this item evolves, giving you an additional protection to mitigation based on your total protections. And I can't show you guys quickly. What if I type evolve? It didn't work. So this item comes out to being, instead of 85 of each, Prophetic Cloak, when it's finished, gives you 40 protections of each, 100 health, 10% cooldown reduction, and it also gives you an aura of 20 protections of each. So in turn, it gives you, or in total, it gives you 60 protections of each, 100 health, 10% cooldown, and then usually 15% mitigation. And it's safe to say I've officially changed my mind on Cloak. I am now building Cloak in every single game I get in support. It is a permanent... It is a permanent kind of slope that you're going up and you're just getting stronger and stronger as the game goes on. It's almost like you're essentially always getting stronger. Now, it's not something you're going to be able to stack right away. Something that kind of ramps up a little bit. But you get cooldown for the early game. So even if you're not that tanky, you have a little bit extra cooldown. You have a little bit of health. And you have protections of each on top of that. And if it goes long enough, you're also getting additional protections to your allies and mitigations to yourself. And this is just the end-all, be-all, best tank item in the game in terms of finished build. There's nothing else that tops out uh, on Prophetic Cloak. So... Why have I changed my mind? Why am I building this no matter what? You might be slightly less tanky in that, I don't even want to call it the earlier mid game. It's like the early mid game, maybe scaling into the mid game and then kind of early late game, I guess. So early game, once you finish stacking cloak, you're stronger than the one who has Thebes. Once Thebes gets to that 30, 35 protections or, or stacks, Thebes starts to get a little bit stronger because you're getting just more protections, but you're not getting that 10% cooldown. So from 35, and then once it's finished stacking, Thebes is finished hacking. Thebes is going to be stronger than Cloak for the most part. But at the same time, you can get Cloak stacks during this time. Why am I building Cloak now every game? When it comes down to it, the weaknesses of Cloak don't matter that much, especially in ranked. One, you're not getting punished for such small changes in your build compared to Cloak versus, versus Thebes. You maybe are losing out on that HP 5, which doesn't feel great. But again, you're just permanently ramping up. You're permanently getting stronger. Am I saying don't build Thebes? No, I think Thebes is still a great item. I think Cloak Thebes has its spot in the meta. If you want a more selfish build, because that's what essentially it is. Cloak and Thebes are selfish items because they are just aura protections for your allies, which makes it a little less selfish. But mostly you're focusing on just making yourself as tanky as possible. If you really cared about the auras and you wanted them as quick as possible, Sov, Heartward, those items are just not too great right now because it's not those auras that make it this strong. It is just the protections you get to yourself and the survivability you get yourself. So Thebes, on the other hand, is going to be 55 protections of each. Same amount. Slightly more health, slightly more HP 5. But you're not getting this cloak passive in the late game and you're not getting the 10% cooldown. So really, what puts it over the edge? To me, ranked is just a, a free stack off cooldown. Nobody plays around the cloak. In SPL, sometimes you'd buy cloak or in just competitive tonight, you'd buy cloak and... The enemy team would kind of just avoid you to not give you those stacks. It was very hard to deal with. Because if you're sitting at 7, 8, 9, 10 stacks on Cloak, and you're trying to walk up and get some Cloak uh, stacks on a god that's not too easy with, something like Ymir like that, it doesn't feel great. But in ranked, it doesn't happen. Nobody punishes you. Nobody checks your build half the time. You can just walk up, start autoing, get your auto back up, walk back up, get another auto. Even if you're playing something like Ymir, it is essentially just free stacks 99% of the time. And if you go late game, Prophetic Cloak is just the perfect item 99% of the time. That's why I've started to build Cloak just all the time. And just looking at these three items together, three items, because I think Spartan Flag is also just a really good ranked item. Nobody has to use their brain. You can just throw out abilities, get this flag. 35 protections from this. So that's 70 total. This puts you at 120 pre-evolved. And then once you evolve it, 
you get to 180. So together, these get up to 180. And then Thebes on top of it is also another 55, 110, puts you up to 290 protections just from these three. Add on a little bit of Guardian base scaling, same with Assassin, Warrior, whatever role you're playing. You're probably sitting at about 350, almost 400 just from these items, which puts you at about 200 protections of each. That is insanely valuable. And then from there on, it doesn't really matter what you're building. You can go Divine if you feel like you need Divine. You could go E-Staff if you want to just do a little bit of extra damage, also get some poke. Gem if you want the anti-shield. But beyond these three items, there's really nothing else that you need. But even excluding Thieves, if it's just Cloak, Cloak allows you to go into any other item you want. Relic Dagger, missing out a little bit of protections, but instead, you're getting a lot more health, making more value out of the protections you're already getting from Cloak. If you go into a physical defense item, a breastplate maybe, well, maybe you're a little low on health, but at least Cloak is giving you some, something there. If you want to go into a magical defense item, maybe they have a lot of magical damage. Pestilence, Hardwood, something like that. There is just a perfect starter for Cloak, or starter with Cloak, and you're going to get it stacked eventually. If you're not getting it stacked, usually that means you building this item doesn't change the fact you win or lost the game. You're stomping so hard, Thebes doesn't really matter. You're stomping, or getting stomped so hard, Thebes doesn't really matter. So that's why, essentially, I'm building Cloak every game in support, and I'm trying to build it almost every game in solo lane. I've built it even in jungle and in mid lane. I know, disgusting. It's just such an OP item. I'm building it as much as I can. Let me know what you guys think about Cloak, though. I'm curious what you guys' thoughts are. Are you guys going to be building in every single game that you can? But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you guys again next time. Peace.